This lesson will show how to use Desmos.com to graph a piecewise defined function. We are given f of x equals negative two-thirds x plus one if x is less than three, and f of x equals one-half x plus three halves if x is greater than or equal to three. To begin, go to Desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. Next, we enter f of x equals, and now we need curly brackets or squiggly brackets, Using the Desmos keypad, click show keypad, click ABC, the curly brackets are at the bottom toward the middle here. Next we enter the first interval, which is x less than three. Using the Desmos keypad, click one, two, three, x less than three, and now we need a colon. I'm going to use the keyboard for the colon, and then we enter the corresponding function rule, which is negative three halves x plus one. Enter negative two divided by three, tab a right arrow, x plus one. Looking at the graph, notice how we do have the graph of negative two thirds x plus one when x is less than three. But notice when x is equal to three, it looks like there's a point at three comma negative one, but we know three is not in this interval, and therefore we'll have to come back later and plot an open point or open circle as this endpoint. Now we enter a comma, the second interval, which is x greater than or equal to three, colon, and then the corresponding function rule, which is one half x plus three halves. We enter one divided by two, tab or right arrow, x plus three divided by two, enter. Now we have a pretty good graph of the piecewise defined function, but again, we need to determine whether we have an open or closed points at these two endpoints and that's based upon the inequality used for the interval. So for x equals negative two-thirds x plus one, the piece of the line with a negative slope, x equals three is not in this interval, which again means at the point three comma negative one, we need an open point. Let's go ahead and plot that. Open parenthesis three comma negative one, close parenthesis, Let's change the style of the point and the color by clicking and holding on the blue circle. Open point, red, click outside the menu. And then for the second interval where x is greater than or equal to three, three is in the interval and therefore the corresponding point is on this piece here with a positive slope and therefore we should make a closed point at three comma three. Let's go to cell three, open parenthesis three comma three, close parenthesis, click and hold on the green circle, and change the color to red. Now we have a very nice graph of the piecewise defined function. One more way to verify that this point is closed and this one is open is to click and hold on the graph and then drag toward the endpoint. What we'll see is the point three comma three here is on this piece of the graph. If we keep dragging to the left, and then back down to this endpoint, we don't reach the point where x equals three because x equals three is not in this interval for this piece of the function. Notice how it's going to jump back up to three comma three. I guess one last thing I do wanna show you is if you're projecting this in class, you may like the projector mode. If you click on the wrench, click projector mode, notice how it makes everything a little bit thicker and therefore easier to see on a screen. I hope you found this helpful.